Hello, peoples. I wanted to... Uh, actually, I was going over some old videos that never got edited or made it to YouTube. Um, but it was about how... Hang on. How you can do this. Even if I jiggle, jiggling, the bike just wants to stay upright. Why is that? Well, people say stuff like, oh, it's the wheels turning, because, you know, everyone knows if you spin something really fast, it doesn't want to move. Uh, yeah, that's not why a bike stays up. That, that is a true effect, and it does have a slight damping effect on the bike. Think about, like, a Razor scooter. You know, those little aluminum toy scooters. Little itty bitty wheels. And those stay upright just fine. It's not the wheels spinning. It is the steering geometry. Angle of rake, and there's also the something called the trail. I'll show you. I'll show you. Physics are fun. today. There's a good place. Yeah, let's stop there. Alrighty. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so I'll explain about the, about the steering geometry stuff. <laughs> Not a bad place to stop. Okay, obviously, the steering angle is angled forward from vertical. The bearing is here and there. If you drew a line through those, the center of those two bearings, that's the steering axis. Everything on the front pivots about that imaginary line. That line, if you extend it, goes into the ground at some point. And the place where it goes into the ground is probably, let's say, like that's about where the tire contacts the ground. The imaginary steering axis line goes into the ground probably like right there. So there's a little bit of a, a space between the steering axis, which is probably like, let's say right there, and where the tire touches the ground, which is like right there. When I, I'm gonna stand next to the bike, uh, put it in gear so it doesn't roll away. Come on, I'm going gear. Don't worry about it, bike. Don't worry about it, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so there it is. Um, and right now the bars pretty much stay wherever I put them because the bike's upright. If I lean it over without dropping it, so now it's leaned over pretty good, just resting on my leg. The bars kinda wanna stay, let's see, right about there. They don't really wanna stay up there, well, they're gripping the ground pretty good. Let me back it up a little bit smoother spot. Okay, so I'm leaning the bike over. The bars want to stay right about there. Because when I leaned it over, the tire is contacting the road here, and I lean it over, so it's supporting the bike. So that's pushing the tire that way around that steering axis. So that makes the wheel do that. Does that make sense? So if we're riding along and something perturbs the bike, that's what we engineers call disturbing something from where it currently is, then if something makes the bike want to lean this way, the bars automatically do that and the wheel rolls in that direction and corrects the fall. Here's the bike, here's the front wheel. If it starts to fall, it does that starts to fall, it does that. Wheel turns in that direction, rolls in that direction, and rights the motorcycle. That is how steering geometry keeps the bike upright when you're rolling forward. So a chopper has very shallow raked forks. They're at a high angle from vertical, maybe like 40 degrees or something, 45 degrees. Those bikes are extremely stable. They, you can ride them hands off all day. Like they're, they want to stay upright. They want to stay straight up and down. Um, and so that also means that they don't control very sharply. You can't steer them very fast because they're so stable. They want to stay upright. 
Um, a bike like this is very quick to steer because it has a much more um, steep uh, rake angle. It's only like 25 degrees or something. So it's still stable. It will still ride hands off, but just just barely. Um, if I turn the bars, it's, it's very quick to control. If the forks were vertical, if it was a vertical steering axis, the bike would overcorrect itself every time uh, it leaned or anything happened. The, it would lean correct and just, it would go into a, like a crazy oscillation very quick, basically a tank slapper. It would happen immediately at almost any speed. It would be v impossible to ride. There's two kinds of stability. There is static stability, which is the initial tendency for a thing to return to where it was when you move it. Dynamic stability is, over time, does it finally come to rest at the original place where it was. A simple example of static stability is a, a marble in a bowl. You, the marble wants to stay in the middle of the bowl, you move it off to the side, it goes doo, 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 and slows down and eventually stops in the middle of the bowl. Um, that's static, statically stable and dynamically barely stable because it takes quite a while for it to return and eventually stop in the middle. If you put water in the bowl and then move the marble over, that's still the same amount of static stability, but much more dynamic stability because there's more damping. The water is damping the marble and slows it down much, much more quickly and, and lets it stay in the middle. So this steering damper adds dynamic stability to this motorcycle, which is a little bit edgy actually. It's, this, is, uh, this is an SV650 with a GSXR front end. Uh, that dropped the front end slightly, increased the, the rake angle a little bit. There's a lot of other things on a motorcycle that affect uh, dynamic stability. Things like how much your bars weigh and like your headlight and where everything is positioned and the tire you have, the tire's flexibility and specific, you know, sidewall characteristics and all that. It's kind of a black magic. It's very, very complicated. Um, to, to model all that mathematically is pretty daunting. People have tried, um, and it's pretty, pretty crazy complicated. Uh, but we know that certain things do affect it pretty strongly, and that, like, the main one is fork or rake angle. So, yeah. Oh, um, that separation between where the steering axis goes through the ground and where the tire contacts the ground. Increasing that distance increases your static stability. Gosh. Very eager. Can I slow back down? Weirdo. And now the red car has stepped on it. People are such bad at this. Are such bad at this. You're such good at talk. I I are good at talk. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Old school. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you, they're popular. You've done a great job so far. 